Hey, what is up, Dragon Ball Nation? It's your boy Joe, DJ Beta, bringing you another video in Dokkan. And this time, I'm going to be doing something a little different. No playthroughs, no uh, game footage, no nothing. I'm actually going to be talking about the Rebirth cards that just came out. They're released, released today. Um, if you're doing the event, you're doing obviously doing the Heroes and the Villains Extermination event. And for the Gohan one, you're doing the Gohan Story event. So, fantastic. Um, I'm not doing a webcam right now, just because of the fact that my allergies are going really, really crazy right now. And there's going to be moments I'll probably have to step away to blow my nose, sneeze, all that other fun stuff that comes along with having bad allergies. So, I didn't want to do a webcam today, just because of that fact alone. But, I'm actually getting some lighting. Yes, yes, uh, yes. My lighting will be coming in either Thursday or Friday. I'm not too sure. I have to double check. But I'm going to be having lighting, and it's going to make... Oh, my videos better so y'all be able to see a lot clearer and everything but without further ado let's go ahead and get into this team building with these new cars so i just kind of wanted to show y'all a general team that you will kind of build around these mono cards or not these mono cards but the the agl the technique and the physical one just to kind of give you an idea of how to build a proper team with them and exactly how well they will link up Okay, first we are actually going to start with AGL, and I'm gonna do I'm gonna kind of build a team how you would build it, like if depend on the cards you have. So let's say you have Vegito as your leader, obviously. Put Vegito as your leader, and if you put him, that's a new one that just came out, Super Saiyan Two Goku. You'll probably have him honestly come around every three turns. So here's how I'm gonna, here's how I'm gonna line this up. Here's exactly how I'm going to line this up. And we are, where is the, there we go. So, no Vegito leads. So let's say this one, boom. That's Vegito right there. Two Vegito awaken. So this is your double Vegito lead. Ideally, you want them to come around every, you want the, you want the, your Vegito to come around every turn. Because of the fact that they can tank and they can counter. So they're doing damage. So, I'm going to go back to URs. So you have him. I don't see him come around every turn. And here's the reason why. Because if you have Super Saiyan Blue or Kaioken, you use them. So, for instance, me, I have Kaioken. We're going to put him. I would line him up. Actually, we'll line him up three. Because I want him to come around not so often. Because I don't want him to lose his passive. Alright, I have Ultimate Gohan. I'm going to link Ultimate Gohan with this one. And boom, boom. Alright. Another one I would probably take. How do you are? Um, this is kind of where it gets a little tricky. Got one, two, three, four. F I need two more cards. I'm obviously gonna take this one because I have this one at Super Tech Six. I would take him. I'm not sure if I would have him come around every turn or every two turns. I haven't decided yet. So that's one, two, three, four, five, five. Uh, I need one more. And it's always a toss up between either Golden Frieza. Are Kid Boo, and the only reason I would run Kid Boo is so I could kind of regenerate um, some health. So if I put Kid Boo there, I would have Kid Boo really come around like this. That's how I really would have it. He'll have a link right there with Ferris Battle because I would have an Awakened Vegito friend. So that's how I would technically kind of run my team if I want to run it like this without a sealer. Normally, I run uh, that Bardock, take Bardock, just so I can have a ceiling. That way, I could, that's with harder events. A little easier events, I could do this, this healing factor. But let's go ahead and just, I'll show y'all how I would actually, how I would actually do it. Uh, where's he at? Where's he at, though? This is how I would actually run the team, in all honesty. That's actually how I would do it. Mm, there we go. This is actually how I would run my team, and the reason and the reason I would actually run my team like this is because I'm gonna seal every turn. Every other turn, I'm gonna seal, so I would get those counters off. I would have that Super Saiyan God Goku there to kind of link up. That's two keys. I mean, you're working and then you're working with so much key right there that when he links up, I mean, they all share shock and speed except for. The new Goku and the Bardock. They don't share shock and speed. But the Bardock and the Goku, I believe, share... 
Prepare for battle? No, prepare for battle. Okay, he doesn't have prepare for battle. But it doesn't matter because that Goku actually gives three key to all allies. So you're working with double, you're working with double Vegeta lead, so that's six key. Plus three more key when he pops up. So you're at nine key already off the bat with any AGL character. So it's not going to be hard to get a super off with these characters. Especially if you're using shock and speed like this Goku and the Kaioken and the Ultimate Gohan. They all have shock and speed. So that's plus two more key you're working with right there. The only one that's kind of it's going to kind of throw it off balance is having that Bardock there. But that Bardock there is just for the sheer fact of the seal and the super. And he's self-efficient with his own key. In a way, because he turns strength keys into technique key. So, I actually would prefer this setup. And actually would be a really good setup for me. So, that's how I would actually do this team. Let's get into... Oh, look at that. We're already here. We're already here. So, let's say... Boom, boom, boom. Actually, boom. We're, we're, we're working with this right now. So, God Tanks. Vegito. I hear him coming around three turns, and I'll tell you why in a second. Uh, Bardock. Duh. I need the other go tanks to act as a filler. Boom. I got one, two, three, four. And then ideally, I would work with. Uh, who would I work with? Vegeta. Because he's going to hit hard. And one more. And this is where it kind of gets iffy with me. I can either do Ultimate Gohan, which he doesn't fit that well, but he provides himself key. Or I can do Buff Boo, which he provides himself key also. So I'll probably work with that one right here. Okay, so this is how I would have this lineup. Vegito and Gotenks there, obviously. So they can kind of support each other. Vegeta's a great support unit. And it's gonna make he's gonna make Gotenks hit a lot harder. The only issue I have with running this Goku in a mono tech team, the only issue I have, check out his passive. Where's he at? Passive, passive. Technique and strike uh, strength characters key plus three. So with that being said, I'll tell you all this right now. Look out. If he comes around with the go tanks, if he comes around go tanks, if they come around in one turn, I would have it just like this. This is the way I would have it. I would have a Gito going first to give him that attack boost after a super. So you're working with six key right there. Uh, Fuse fighter, that's two more keys. So that's your eight key. Uh, with his key throwing out three, you're at 11 key. You already has max super without even touching the field. That's the only reason I will not use this Goku, and I do not want this Goku. I, I have not pulled him. I really don't care for him too much. I wouldn't. I, I honestly don't see myself using him, besides in a heroes team. Because of that fact alone that I'm not going to be getting my strongest super out. And that's going to be really horrible. So, he will not be on the team, but if you replace him with Ultimate Gohan... His passive attack and defense plus 70% with HP is 80% or below. That is actually a good passive for a technique team because your health with the technique team honestly will kind of be getting lower because you don't have a tank, really. So your health will always kind of be below 80%. And that's the problem with the Golden Frieza whenever he comes out. The technique one is his passive, which I'll talk about that in a future video. That will probably come out pretty soon. I just want to kind of talk about this how uh, Golden Frieza and all the rebirth and all the not the rebirth but the Doken Awakens they get. But like I said, I'll cover that in another video. Um, but yeah, I would actually run this unit, and he'll fit a lot better to me because if he comes around here, he's giving no key so that's I mean at least he's linking up as far as uh, Super Saiyan so attack plus ten percent. He's at least doing something as far as raising my attack. He's not just screwing me over with key, which I do not need that. So that's actually going to be a very, very, very useful. Um, if he links up with Bardock, you get prepare for battle, two key, uh, one key, and attack. So he's actually going to be actually really decent, and he raises his attack every super turn. So once I get this unit, I'm actually going to test him out, and I'm actually going to showcase him to see 
how great he actually can be. I wish I had the Kyle Kinnevin out because I would use him on that team and I would just kind of work with it to see how it would go. So, yeah, this kind of team I would actually run. Like I said, I wouldn't run that Goku. Would not, would not, would not just because the fact that that key would kind of screw you over. Versus the AGL one, you would get key and that'll be great because you don't have a key restriction or a key based leader where you need to get a certain key. That's one of the reasons I love this Gotenks key team. Is because the fact that you have to kind of think about your key output and what you're doing versus Vegito. Even though I know he's the best card in the game, the still the one of the best teams to run, it can still be a little boring sometimes because you're just on autopilot, especially when there's a seal and you have Vegito up taking all these, just like an autopilot thing. It kind of gets boring, but it is what it is. If you want to be an event, it's really good. But this team is really, really fun. All right, last team, or not, not last team, but last character is boom boom so this is where it kind of gets tough for me i would run broly obviously uh where are we at where are we at heroes here goes this goku so passive skill is q plus two and attack plus 20 percent for our allies so he's actually really good i would probably run him he's a great support unit great 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 support unit <laughs> Now, I'm just kind of show you teams based off what my build is. You can kind of go off this or do another team that you have a certain way. But these strength, or not strength units, but physical units are kind of hard to find units for. Do like this. Uh, where is he at, though? Oh. Where you at? Where you at? There you go. Okay, so boom. I need one more unit, and this is always the issue I have. Let's find a one more unit. Oh, but I just pulled him, the nuker. I'll probably put him just because he has prepare for battle. Just because he has prepare for battle. Okay, so here's what we'll do with this team. That's exactly what I would do if I had this Goku. I don't have this Goku, but if I had this Goku, I would do Broly. Have uh, Goku linked up next to him because he gets 20% for our allies. So I probably have it just like this. Him going first, get that 20% boost. And he kind of provides so key, but this team is so prepared. For, these all, all these units have prepared for battle, so they're going to hit hard. Or they're all going to link up. All going to give each other chill. It's going to be a pretty much a mass, or not mass, but um, auto super. Have him. So this is how I, exactly what I would do. That way I could seal the super up. Would go tanks and Broly on one turn and just hit them hard constantly with supers. This team really. Physicals kind of lack certain gimmicks as far as great lower attack, defense, all that good stuff. So, yeah, I mean, that's what I would do right there. I mean, there's not really much to this team and to this Goku besides he. Oh, crap. Besides him being a really fantastic support unit. Because, like I said, let's look at his passive one more time. You got Gold Warriors, look at his links. Go to Warrior, Kamehameha, Prayer for Battle, Saiyan Warrior Race, Shattering the Limit, and Super Saiyan. And a key plus two and attack plus 20% for all allies. So, like I said, he's just a great support unit. He really, really is. I wish I had this Goku to run on my team. I would actually run him on my team because, like I said, he's a fantastic support unit. This team would actually be really decent. They would actually kind of all hit hard because they all have a certain things about their passive like i'm just going to show you a couple of their passives just in case you don't have one. Oh crap no pop up here we go no ah, that's not doing it oh i do this okay trunks is attack plus 70 percent when performing a super so good passive put them back there um passive key plus three and attack Plus 7,000 when key is 9 or more. Very easy to attain. So as soon as you get your key at 9, which you're going to get a super no matter what. As long as you have your key at 9. So he's a great unit to have. Prepare for, like I said, these, all these units have prepared for battle. Go tanks, obviously, he seals that super. Uh, that's that new Goku that nukes as far as you get enough key. Uh, if you get enough um, physical orbs. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. If you get enough physical orbs, he's going to hit really hard. I believe that's the only thing about his passive. Oh, crap. Pop up. There we go. Yeah. 
So 15% for... So if you wanted to, you kind of set up the field for a nuke, mini nuke. I wouldn't take all orb change in abilities, but I would probably set up some. That way I can set off a mini nuke for him just to make him hit a lot harder. So there he goes. That's the kind of the teams I would run. I'm actually, I'm looking forward to the Gohan. I'm looking forward to the AGL unit. The Goku AGL unit. So just kind of see how they fit in my team and run them in. Like with Kid Boo, because he doesn't really link up besides first battles, but he needs that key support. And so if he comes around, it's going to help Kid Boo out. So I'm just going to play around with these teams. You're going to see these teams. I'm actually going to show you um, these teams probably in the future, especially Gohan. I'm going to de definitely, definitely, definitely uh, show off Gohan. So hopefully you all enjoy that. Hopefully this kind of video helped you. Uh, it's informative for you. It helped you build a team. If you need help building a team, just let me know. Message me on Twitter. Facebook, um, in the comments, just anything, I'll be able to help you any way I can. So please like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. And until next time, man, I'll talk to y'all later. All right, peace.